We're going to take a look at the different ways that you can create a deal inside of your HubSpot portal and CRM. So right now, the first way we're going to look at, I am under sales and deals, and I'm just going to hit create deal here on my deal board. This is going to let me just make a new deal manually. I'm going to punch in all my different information. I'm going to give this a name of the deal. I'm going to pick a pipeline. We'll just put this here. I'm going to pick what deal stage is it going into. I'm going to set an amount. I'm going to pick a close date. And you can customize all of these fields that you see over here and you can choose what's going to show up here. What am I going to make required versus optional just to make sure that your team is always putting in the most relevant information about all of your prospects. Then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to associate it with one of my contacts in the database. You can choose to associate it with a company and I'm going to go ahead and hit create. So that's the first way. And that's like the very manual way. If I just need to make one deal, just go over to the sales tab and find the deal board. A second way you can make a deal, here, this is my new deal here, is if I flip over to this contact record now, so now I'm looking at a contact record. If I come over here on the right-hand side, you can see that new deal I just created is right here, but this is another place, just right from the contact record, same thing from a company record, I can hit add a deal. And if I say associate new right here, I can just give this a new deal. So this is new deal two, sales pipeline, leave it in, we're gonna move this one to the proposal stage, let's say it's for $5,000, earlier close date, looks good, hit create, <clears throat> and boom, there we go. So now I have a second deal. If I flip back over to this contact record here, you'll see I now have two deals created with this individual. A third way you can make a deal in HubSpot is using automation. So I'm gonna come here now to this automation tab and go to workflows. And what we can actually do is create a workflow that's going to automatically create a deal and associate it with a contact based on any trigger we pick. So for here, I'm just making this a contact based workflow. I'm going to say new deal created. And we'll pick what are different triggers for that to happen. So you would pick, you know, I'm going to say this is based on a form fill. This is based on a new status from my team members. This is based on uh, you know, someone sends a particular type of email with a subject line. You can do any different combinations of your data that you have in here, any different behaviors taken on behalf of your prospects or customers. Those can be the triggers for someone to enter into this workflow here. And then if I want to create a deal, I'm just going to add a step here for a new action. And I'm going to come down and find create record. And I'm going to select a deal record as the type. And this is going to give me some of those same similar information. So I'm going to pick who's the contact owner. I can pick a specific user. I'm going to make it me. I'm going to say, what's the deal name? We're going to actually copy from the contact token here. We're going to say first name. Actually, let's say full name. Oh, don't have that. First name of the prospect and new deal. So every time a contact goes through here, it's going to name the deal with their first name and then attach the word new deal. You can make any combinations of these with different tokens. Same thing with any of these other different properties. So deal pipeline, we're gonna pick a stage, great. Close date, we'll make it 40 days from when this deal is created. And then right here, you can see we can pick other deal properties that we set. We can also pick other values that we're gonna copy from a contact, from a company onto this deal property, depending on what type of workflow we're using. And then finally down here, we can create additional associations, which is very important if we're trying to keep track of, you know, a complex sales cycle or a complex set of information um, within our portal here. There are two other ways that we're not going to cover to create a deal. One of those is through an import. You can import, you know, hundreds, thousands of deals at a time. And the other way is through integrations. We'll cover those at another time. Thanks so much for watching.